Good morning to you. I am back at Pompton Lake. I know it's the same old scenery, same old everything, um, but you guys know my goal to get a catfish that's 10, 15, 20 pounds. Um, and my closest is probably eight pounds so far. So here I am. I got my three rods set out already. I got one shad on the one, and I got two uh, garlic chicken liver sacks on the other two. So uh, hopefully um, I pull something nice in today. There's not a breeze right now, which is fantastic. It's a little chilly, that's why I got a sweatshirt on. It's supposed to be 80 in three hours, so go figure with this weather. Um, I got a... Uh, like I said, I got that shad on there. This is a shad I got over from uh, Tackle and Field Outfitters over in Wanaku there at 81 Ringwood Ave. Um, it's a place you guys got to go check out. Get your bait there. If you're from North Jersey especially, that's your go-to spot. I don't know why any other place would, would be uh, your go-to spot. Um, <clears throat> I got another thing of garlic salt and another thing of chicken liver. So as I sit and wait, I'm going to prepare that and prepare some more big sacks and uh, see how it goes um, I got until my battery dies on my camera um, probably three hours or so is my guess so let's hope I pull something in today guys um, and we'll see how it goes all right um, I might change the scenery up a bit um, I know my my goal is to is to keep going after one but I want to change the scenery for you guys I don't want you to keep seeing the same the same old uh, footage, you know what I mean? Um, I might try someplace in Oakland tomorrow. I might try someplace over in uh, Wayne tomorrow. I don't know. So we'll see what happens. Uh, maybe I'll get lucky and I won't have to come here tomorrow because I'll catch a nice catfish today. Um, <clears throat> all right, guys, NJ Fishing Maniac. Uh, subscribe to my channel. Get updates, alerts, all the bells and whistles, whatever comes with it. Um, and let's say Thursday. Tomorrow I'm expecting my one shirt to see how I like it, the NJ Fishing Maniac shirt. And I'm gonna order a couple dozen more if they're good and they will be giveaways for you guys um, as we uh, roll along here into the winter, the fall and winter. All right, so let's get catching. All right guys, so as I sit and I wait, got my McCormick's garlic salt, and my sh chicken liver. So, I know you're supposed to, <clears throat> you know, let it sit on a grate and drain it and dry it and all that crap. But, you know what? I'm just gonna take them out of the blood. Cut them into the size pieces that I want so I'm ready to go. Using a big clam for uh, ocean fishing. You cut that sucker in half, though. Mm. All right. <coughs> so let me add some McCormick's. I'll dirty this up because this isn't going on my pizza. So. Mm. Mm. A nice amount in there. Shake it up a bit. <clears throat> so far, they like the garlic the best, in my opinion. Try the hell out of it, right? Mm. Mm. Look 
at that, my shad line is getting tight. Be amazed, huh? Nothing on the shad yesterday, but. It ain't pulling, I got all my bales open. All my bales open. There's no wind, there's no reason not to. But my shad line is tight with my bale open, so something was messing with it. Might have been a turtle, but um, yeah, you never know, right? We'll leave some chicken liver in here, regular. yellow perch. Oh, got my shad. He ate my shad, this sucker. Yep. Nice. Well, he swallowed the hook, so it's a shame I can't keep him in here. He's already bleeding. It's a nice, nice size yellow perch. Probably about 13 inches. I gotta cut this hook quick and I gotta get him out. Sorry, buddy. I hope you live, man. I really do. I hate when f I hate when fish die for no reason. But you know, there's crayfish in here and stuff like that. It'll start. It'll die, and you know, the catfish will eat it, and, and whatever. So it's not a total failure. <clears throat> but if he would have been pulling my line, I would have been able to set the hook. Maybe it wouldn't have been down his throat. You know, even with pliers, right, and yanking around on its stomach and pulling its stomach out of its mouth. <clears throat> Not doing that. Not doing it. Look at this. I got to protect from the bugs. I look like uh, I look like a baby. <laughs> By the way, this company on the back of my shirt, a and Ironworks Family Business. That's where I worked for 14 years. If you need your steel in New Jersey, uh, structural steel, any I beams, channels, uh, stairs, railings, all that stuff. Contact this number on the back of my shirt. They're located in Hewitt, right next to West Milford. So give them a call, ask for Mark or ask for Adam. My father and my uncle. The best steel company around tell you all right i got regular chicken liver in a sack on my little rod i got the garlic chicken liver in a bigger sack on the cone rod <coughs> as you can see oh. nice rod holder right it was free right here and i got a herring on this rod oh. i have absolutely no confidence right here i'll show you what it looks like after there's weeds all over my line put chicken liver on the rod before I didn't tie it or do nothing fancy I just stuck it on there threw it out and I was getting pulls right away but again I'm thinking that's a little white perch again because this apparently Potash Lake the it runs it turns into a river or something it runs into Pompton Lake so I don't know we'll see what happens I know smack dab in the middle of the day, you know, 11 o'clock is not the best time for catfish. You like my hat? Nothing doing on these? I'm not surprised. I 
I'm at Potash Lake. I'm right at the uh, the boat ramp there off West o Oakland Ave. Nothing doing. Nothing doing. I'm using all the same stuff. Probably should have stayed at Pompton Lake. But I wanted to take a look at what this looks like. And it looks like absolute crap. So your best bet is I won't be coming here again. Well, guys... That stunk. I gotta tell you, put the one, one large yellow perch, if you wanna call it large, the nice sized perch. Um, then I went over to Potato Lake, I mean Potash Lake, Potato Mash Lake. It's disgusting. An hour and 50 minutes I sat there with my rods out with chicken liver on them and silch. I was doing a wrap up video and I got two hard hits on my one rod. Of course, nothing happened after I waited five minutes. So, I reeled in about two pounds of weeds. Um, long live that way. I've decided to shine, fly, fly, not shine, fly from the inside, fly from the inside, shine down. Um, but yeah, unbelievable. It's like a hot, it is 30 degrees, it went up in like two and a half hours. It's just not right. Not for carp and catfishing, at least. Um, I might hit the Passaic River someday this week or weekend, I'm not sure. I go back to Pompton Lake tomorrow. I don't know why I left this morning, to be honest with you. But feel free to keep watching my videos. Hopefully, I land something big. Um, you know, NJ Fishing Maniac. And uh, like I said earlier, I got my t shirt coming tomorrow. I'm going to see what it looks like. I'm going to wear it fishing on Saturday. And uh, I'm going to order a couple dozen uh, for giveaways for you guys, you know. As long as you guys keep watching my videos, I'll keep uh, trying to, you know, do stuff for you guys as well. All right, NJ Fishing Maniac is gone.